I spent 10 years at Princeton. Yes. This is long ago. Yeah. Like, I'm old man now. <laughs> In my day. <laughs> Every year, there was talk of people saying, we're almost there. Mm -hmm. by producing more energy than we put in, which would then make it an energy source for the world. They would say, oh, we're just five years away. And that was 30 years ago. So what's going on? You're almost there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> by using magnetic field, you actually confine the plasma. So there's something we call Lawson criteria, which is basically the multiplication of the confinement time, how hot you get, your density. So each all, kind of that combined. all combined, right. and if it's larger than something, you say that, oh, I achieved fusion. If you're going to be useful to anybody, yes. you can't just make energy yeah. under the ground in yeah. Princeton, New Jersey. It's got to be, I don't want to call it portable, but it's got to be scalable. Whose method will be better for this? The inertial confinement from Lawrence Livermore or the tokamak design from Princeton and other places. We have to pursue all the methods. All of them need to get to some condition, and the condition is that you produce more energy than you put in. Otherwise, you, what's the point? What's the point, <laughs> right. exactly. exactly. It's kind right. of the net gain that you kind of need to get. We haven't got there engineering-wise, physics-wise, scientifically, maybe in some range we can say that, oh, we got energy from fusion. 